Hi everyone, this is Andrew Tai. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be installing this solid state drive into this Toshiba satellite. So this is the Toshiba Satellite Z670-10P. I've already cloned the operating system onto the solid state drive. I'm going to be installing it into this computer. So uh, all I've done is I've turned it off and flipped it over. I'm going to disconnect the battery first. That's going to make it as safe as possible so we don't short anything inside this. We're going to be taking out the hard drive now. So all we need is a small Phillips head screwdriver, which I've got here. It's going to take off this panel. So that panel just pops out. So uh, we have a standard hard drive here. So um, what I'm going to do is to simply pull this out. So that SATA connection here just pulls out like that and I can pull out the hard drive. So um, this has a sort of caddy which looks like it will feed into this um, these grooves here. So we could technically just put the solid state drive in but um, I'm going to put the caddy in correctly so that it's uh, nice and secure. So I'm just going to remove these little screws here. So I'm just going to remember the, the orientation because I want the SATA ports to align up. So I'm going to take this original mechanical drive out and we're going to put the solid state drive in here. And then we're going to put the screws on the side which will secure it to the actual laptop. So uh, once that caddy is back on, I'm just going to slide this back in and then we're going to push it into the actual drive. You can use this tab to do it. That's nice and secured in. I'm going to put the bottom cover back on and we're going to screw in the single screw which goes there. And we're going to replace the laptop battery here. Right. So that is how you install a solid state drive on the Satellite C670-10P. So that is how you install a solid state drive into the Satellite C670-10P. If you wanted to learn how to actually clone the drive so that you have your old data on your new computer, then uh, please follow the link in my description for that particular video. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.